was born in Germany in 1936. After the war there was a shortage of work and everything else. Huh? So there was the, my dad heard about, you know, well, like immigrating. We couldn't immigrate right away, so we had to wait for a couple, three years. They said, well, Mr. Beck, like my dad, yeah, you'd be the first ones, you know, to be contacted when they reopen, you know, immigration services. And sure enough, they did. And in, in 52, they contacted my dad and made, they made arrangements to go on the ship and then we came to Canada and we came from Hamburg. Why was I separated from my mom? Well, <laughs> do I don't really know, to be honest, because my dad never talked about it, you know, and just, I don't really know what happened there. <sighs> I guess it wasn't meant to be, because at those days, well, like back home, you know, your parents were the boss and you you didn't really have much right until you reached the age of 21 you know and and i always wanted to see my mother but dad said no you can't not yet and this and that and after that well i never did get to see her so and that's that's the sad part of it maybe 90 91 my I was talking to, to my daughter and then we, we phoned the consulate in Edmonton and then she explained everything and then we got information from them that my mother actually had passed away in 1975. If I could tell her, I would tell her that I love her very much. When I got away and came out west and, you know, I didn't have to worry that I'm going to be hounded or anything else and you know everything f from then on I, th I would say probably fell in, in place to you know to lead to a better life. My wife's name is Anne. I met her at a dance which was out at Hazelwood. I asked to dance, we danced, you know, together and night all night and then I said, well, I will take you home and she agreed and the rest is history. <laughs> she had a lot of problems in her life too, you know, cancer and other things, so, but she managed and she got through it. And I had made myself a promise that I will not treat my children the way I was treated. And I stuck to that and to this day, you know. The advice we should give the young people nowadays is get along, don't argue. You know, don't smoke too much dope. <laughs> and don't drink too much. Try to get along and be good and don't. Don't do anything that you shouldn't be doing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace and give you peace. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious and be gracious unto you.